Well, hello, Capricorn. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and start off with your money, and then we're going to get to the rest of the read, okay? We got a lot of cards we're going to use today. This is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, let's see what's going on with your finances here. What's blocking you, or what are you doing that's very great? This is for Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. For some of you at the bottom of the deck, it says wasting resources, not using your resources or using them officially or effectively. It says you have all the tools and resources to advance in your life, but you need to use them more effectively to open new opportunities and manifest more money. So for some of you, you're just burning money. You ain't even thinking. You're just going out buying stuff. Okay. Amazon cart is full to the max. All right. We got to do better than that. All right. <laughs> This is just some something that I'm seeing some of you guys are doing, not everybody, okay? Um, you also have this card here that says scarcity mindset. A scarcity mindset makes it difficult to move forward and achieve. Mm. Practice feeling grateful. Not saying that you're not, but this is what the card says. This puts you in a more positive state of mind. Remember, positive state of mind is what manifests. It says that will allow you to see more opportunities that are around you, okay? You also have this card here that says you guys are about to discover something about yourself, okay? There are some hidden talents within you that you don't even know that you have. It says they could easily still be hidden. If these skills seem useless now, I'm telling you, in the future, it's going to be like, oh, my God, I, could, I was doing this. So I've been knowing how to do this my whole life. I've been painting. I've been knowing how to build computers. And, there, and then here it is. You're making money off of it, and you're very successful. There is going to be a lot of things that you guys are going to learn about yourself, yourself. Now, there's also environmental issues that's most likely keeping you guys from getting to where you want to go. And what do I mean by that? People around you, your home. It says chaos around you also creates chaos in your head. So the recommendation here is to declutter your space and to create an environment in which it signifies to the universe that you are ready for the next big step in your life. Uh, you know, decluttering is, is not just about the stuff that's around laying around the house. This is also people who just are doing nothing but just taking up space. It's basically what it's saying. Okay. Now, the last card that came out here for you, it says fear of missing out. Often wishing that you were somewhere other than where you are right now. You're so busy, like, oh my God, I just wish, I just wish, I wish. And it's like, uh-uh, stay in the present, stay where you are, because you you could get there, but right now thinking, I, you know, you, you want to be somewhere else and you ain't there. It says you haven't missed the boat just because you see others racing around you in their boats. What matters right now is how you're going to move forward. And remember, it's never too late. You're going to get to where you have to be. And some of you guys may not even know that's where you are. It's going to hit you. When you walk down the street one day, you're like, dang, I wish that could be me. I'm like, oh, my God. Yes. Literally just said that last week. <laughs> and you are where you're supposed to be because you're going to get to the place that you need to go if you stay focused on you. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. Now, we are going to get into. Um, oh, I got the wrong deck. Sorry. We got one more. Um, oracle that I'm going to use dealing with your finances here for you, Capricorn. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. Could be legal, some type of contract work, or some money that you're trying to get. All right. I see recognition. You guys always get this card. Like, I mean, really being recognized for what you do. This is what I was saying with the whole talent stuff. It says your money is looking good and solid. And if it hasn't, you will. You're going to get a leadership role or something like that as well, okay? Some of you are in denial about where you are in life right now or how you're spending your money. It says perhaps you are insisting that reality be something other than what it's not. Putting on a false front or, you know, staying in situations that are not effective. Now, you also have money manager is really good because, again, this is a card that indicates that your career and your finances are going to take a giant leap forward. And that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys are kind of in denial right now, but I do feel like you're going to get out of this stuff energy. You're going to get out of this place. But part of that wasting resources, don't be, listen, if, if you know you cannot afford that Gucci bag, 
Don't be going out here trying to buy a Gucci bag when you know you can afford it. Some of y'all be like, well, maybe, uh-uh. And it doesn't even have to be that serious. This is like going, going to one of my favorite places, like Target. Going to Target and, you know, you're only supposed to be going in there to buy a mop and a broom. You come out of there with like five or six bags. Like you knew you weren't supposed to be going in there. That's that's part of, you know, self-control. Okay. Stop being not. <laughs> Retail shopping. That's exactly why. Okay. Stop spending money. If you know, you ain't got it. This is going to be a really good time where you guys start manifesting what you want and you are a magician, okay? You have all the tools that you need in order to increase your income. That's all you need to know. And it's coming. It's coming. Let's go ahead. Let's use, uh, let's get some more cards here and then we want to get into the tarot. This is going to be for Capricorn. Oh, Clover, four leaf Clover. Great, good fortune. Things are really going to start looking up for you. This is for Capricorn. I see some of you guys getting a gift here. Maybe buying yourself a diamond ring or a diamond necklace or someone's giving you a diamond ring. That could be well, some type of event here. Some of you could, could have part, parted ways with someone you were married to. Okay. Could be. I also see you taking a vacation. You're so good with money and business. And that's such a Capricorn trait. You're really, really good at that. I do see some of you are worrying, you know, really heavy over something. It's like the universe is like, don't worry, you'll be fine. Okay. Some of you may have had an engagement that may have got called off to. Some of you, okay, may have had that, whereas an engagement that got called off. I do see you falling in love, though. Okay. And a lot of abundance here coming out here for you. Let's go ahead. Let's get into your tarot. I see you falling in love. I'll tell you that. Or you're already in love with someone. But I want to see if this is, I see two different situations where some of you, there could have been like an engagement. It could have been broken off of some type of connection. Um, and for others, this is like a wedding. But we'll see. Yeah, releasing something that happened here with that tower. Let's see what comes out. Mm, yeah, five of wands. Moon card. So there's been some issues here with the five of wands. Mm. Um, I'm, I am going to tell you, I do see for a lot of you, especially with this moon card at the bottom of the deck, there has been some disappointment in some area of your life. Five of Wands is just drama. You know, you were trying to give your cup of love to someone or something like that. You tried to, you wanted to work something out with somebody and it was just behavior issues. Um, is what it looks like to me. I, I just, I just feel like, you know, with the world card, something may end for right now and you may open up yourself to new people. That's what I'm saying. Now, I do feel like there's offers coming towards you in love and in career. So with that nine of cups, there's different things coming towards you, um, which is going to help you. Yeah, ace of pentacles is where I stop. Your money is going to get so much better. Even though for some of you, love may not be as important, it's happening, okay? Um, but as far as your money, your money looks good. I see a lot of success, to be honest with you. I really do, okay? And then at the end, you got a love interest, for a lot of you. Let's go ahead. Let's clarify. Let's see why this five of wands is here, though. This is like, what? <laughs> like, what is this all about? Five of wands for Capricorn. Thank you. Two cards here. Let's see what comes out. Oh, yeah. A lot of anxiety and, ooh, look at this. Look at this mess. This is this is conflict inside a relationship. For some of you, this is, has something to do with partnership with people that you worked with. Oof. Mm. Something that you saw. A lot of worry in relationships and in, in business partnership matters. But this is part of, you know, that I'm going to keep this as love, but I'm also seeing that it can happen even in, in business relationships where there's some combative energy, some drama. Either way, I'm seeing you being stressed out. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. 
I feel like you guys are learning to fight, to be a rebel, to stand up for what you want. You're losing fear. Okay? That's what you're doing. But there is some energy with work where someone is not being cooperative. And if we're talking about relationships, um, there's been a lot of drama. And it's caused a lot of stress. And it's hard for you guys to agree on something. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, I see. I definitely see progression. You're letting go of things. That's what I'm saying. I see your money improving. You are, there's love here as well. Like you're learning to let go of the conflict and the, the drama. You like I'm putting that behind me. You see how the night is facing is is back turned on that drama. Mm -mm. You're all about your success and and yes, look at this. Uh, you're all about your success and harmony. This was in reverse. Justice is right. Is is right. It's upright. So this is like doing what's right for you. Understanding what's fair for you. Winning in courts and legal battles as well, especially if you guys have been having any type of legal issue. I think we saw that with the legal. So I am saying you're winning. It's going to be in your favor. But if we're saying in general, part of your winning is winning is in victory is walking away from some a relationship that is not certain. And you're like, listen, I don't, I don't have time for this. All right. I just don't. That, that's really what this is about. A lot of success here. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Queen of Wands. For Capricorn. Mm. Oh, yeah. You got a new person coming in here. Ooh, yeah, because the past is the past. That's only a memory now. Because then you got an emperor or empress that's coming in here who most likely wants something with you with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, wait. What was that stuck at the bottom? Oh, yeah. New beginning. Look at that. I didn't even see. <laughs> A new love interest here, okay? And I do see that there's going to be some type of, you know, ending with this death card. This is a trans. Some of you guys even have a transformation with the way that you look. Ooh, there's a lot of change. A lot of change, but it's for the better. It's for the better. It's going to make you happy. It really is. Let's go ahead. Let's get your card here for Capricorn. Let's see what's going to come out here for Capricorn. You guys are going to have someone from your past try to come back in here, by the way. Look at this. Ace of Cups. Some of you are going to have a past person and a new person. I'm telling you right now, you better decide on what you want. Okay. New beginning. That's right. New beginning here with the will card. I mean, with the, the dreamer card, it says you are starting a new adventure. Here it is. You're going to be running free. That's where you, that's what's happening. So it's a lot of positive changes happening in your life, a lot of progression. I love all of this. Even when you're in a state of like not knowing, you are very distracted, bored, rejected. You're in a completely different energy in the future. I love it. But anyway, this is what I have for you here, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Bye.